M0FXB. Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0FXB, so you want to connect to a DCS, XRF or XLX reflector on your ICOM 705. So all you do when you're in DR mode, and to get into DR mode you go hold down the DR button here. So this is normal mode, memory mode, hold it down, you're in DR mode. So all you do is tap, tap use reflector, then go to reflector link to reflector and then direct input and look you can select and you can only do this on the 705 and the 52 as far as i know there could be more models and look you can select dcs xlx see that so let's say we want to do dcs hubnet 477 bl so go 477 we have a long number here we go. Right, 477. There you go. And then it's a B. And you can look up reflectors online, so set. So now you've got link to 477BL. And then let's TX. I do like these microphones on the uh, 705, by the way. Anyway, so let's TX and let's see if it connects. See if. Link to reflector. If someone's talking, it won't connect. Yeah, it's just beeping. But when there's a gap, it it will connect. Da, da, da. So, and then you can push the multi knob. Actually, no. You tap the screen. Reflector. Link to reflector, and you could. I mean, I've got a few in the memory. You can put some in the memory in your UR memory. Yeah. So what you do, you come out of DR mode. So of the DR mode, let's hold down the DR button. Then see that. So come out of DR mode. Go menu. Go to DV memory. Instead of going to repeat list, go to your call sign, and you can you can add here. I know there are code plugs where they've already added hundreds of things into the UR list, but let's just hold our finger down and let's uh, click add. So what we can do, we can go call sign and we can go D C S 477 B B and then we need the L don't we enter and then you click add right. Yes. Okay. And it could be X. Yeah, it looks like it may have connected them. It could be XLX or or it could be XRF. I know I can see why that's that. That's my local repeater. So we put that in there. So now go back into DR mode. Okay, right. And let's just see if it will connect at the moment to DCS. No, it's still not going to connect. But anyway, so let's just say we didn't want to use that way of doing it. We want to just use pre stored XLX XRF. So tap that. Go to your call sign and look, you're now going to see DCS 477BL and I can select that and it puts it up there and look, we'll try again. Okay, and then, so that, like I said, that could be, you decide the lettering, go on Google, put in XRF reflectors, XLX reflectors and just remember it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters and that's it on a, a ICOM 705 so i hope this helps you uh, connect to dcs xrf and xls reflectors please subscribe and like my channel 73 all the best